Untold numbers of hard-working Americans are being destroyed by the current economic climate, and tonight, many will be unable to sleep due to the fear they are experiencing as their financial situations worsen. Parents across the country are struggling to explain to their children why they can no longer afford to feed their families or why their homes are being foreclosed upon. It is becoming increasingly difficult to find work in the United States due to the current rate of inflation. The vast majority of job openings do not offer wages that allow workers to make ends meet. Our once beautiful and bright metropolitan cities have been so devastated by this economy that it seems as if almost everyone has had their hopes sucked right out of them. Energy prices are on the rise, gasoline prices are at record highs, and housing and working conditions are getting worse by the day. Bankruptcy and business closures have profoundly altered the economic landscape of the United States. To help you better understand the realities of everyday life in the United States of America, we have put together a list of 10 shocking facts about the state of homelessness in the United States today. Without further ado, here are 10 facts that demonstrate how the current economic climate has impacted the typical American's quality of life and financial security. Earnings have dropped by 3.5% when inflation is taken into account, even though wages have increased by 5.1% over the last year, while the price of food staples like milk and eggs have increased by an average of 17% and 42%, respectively, during the past year. House prices soared by 21.65% year-over-year on average. Two quarters into the last quarter of 2021, the cost of a home was $70,000, higher than it was a year earlier. It was the highest average price for a new car in the United States ever recorded that caused auto sales to decrease by 7.3% this month alone. Nearly 22% of homeowners and 46.3% of renters in the United States are significantly burdened by housing prices, according to Harvard University's Joint Center for Housing Studies. Middle-class homebuyers are five out of every four. More than a third of all renters in the United States spend more than a third of their monthly incomes on housing. Middle-class families are no longer able to afford housing in 20 of the 55 major U.S. cities studied by Harvard University's Housing Studies program, including Baltimore, New Haven, Austin, and Portland. Using the same inflation measurement as in the early 1990s, we'd be seeing a 15.9% inflation increase right now, according to unofficial government figures. In 2010, crude oil was trading at $20 a barrel, and now crude oil is trading at $110 a barrel for the first time ever. It's been only twice in U.S. history that average gas prices have risen above $4, once during the Great Recession, and again last week, when the national average hit $4. On Monday, it was just nine cents. The two-year median price for a gallon of gasoline was $3.79 from 2008 to 2010, but experts are now predicting that prices will rise to $5 a gallon in the near future. Ask yourself this, have you ever been in a situation where you couldn't pay the mortgage or put food on the table for your family? It may be distressing, especially when our population suffers with inflation shortages and worsening labor circumstances. We're in the middle of a long-term economic crisis while the richest country in the world becomes a nation marked by poverty and inequality, and our leaders in the corporate media continue to ignore our suffering and try to persuade the public that this is what recovery looks like. There has never been a time in American history when the ordinary family is in more financial peril than they are right now. Given the global picture, we should all be prepared for even more turmoil in the months to come. For more such informative videos, subscribe to our channel and like the video. See you in the next video.